this is the, the hoop bender. This, this one here that's attached to the picnic table um, is the model that we're using to get that particular bend. Um, but when you order it, as you can see, it's a really basic form. There's nothing complicated about this. Very, very simple. And um, it comes with a, a lever bar so that when you get to the end of the bend, you can have that extra leverage. So what you'll need to do is attach it to a picnic table, which is the simplest thing most everyone seems to have. Um, you could put it on a flatbed trailer, whatever you got. But you basically need to have something stable in order to bend. So when we get it all set up, the other important piece is to put a um, piece of plywood on the end where it's going to be fed through to keep it from spiraling and sort of getting twisted. So this will help. So usually it helps to have two people. I usually, you know, get, get my kids up to do this part, but I'll do it. <laughs> so start feeding it through. <laughs> and basically, so this is the, considered the swaged end on the, the top rail. So you're going to stick it through the hoop here, loop here just to the end of it. And that's going to be your first bend point. Go for it. Bring it back just so it touches, just kind of kisses the end there. And then you feed it through. Now, just a sec. So sometimes you'll see it like that. You don't want it like that. You want it tight, OK? That way it can't corkscrew on you, OK? And that's the whole reason for that board. And then I'll, someone should stand on it to keep it from corkscrewing. It's also important to have the same person doing the same job the whole time, too. And then you have much better consistency. And then when you get to the end, you have your lever bar there so you can get that final bend. A little bit more. And voila, look at that. <laughs> so simple, right? I unless someone else wants to stand up here, I'm happy to be the person to do it. Oh yeah, hey, there you go. <laughs> okay. yeah. How about it? Copy out of the way. So you always want to pull, not push. Yep, so start so it's it a lot just, more controlled. just back at that point there. And then you're, you're just going to kind of walk backwards, pull, getting more leverage the further back you go. Go ahead. Yep. And you feel so strong. <laughs> <laughs> you're bending metal with your, your bare, bare hands. hands. <laughs> Yeah, and then go, it usually it's about, t t go about two feet. Yeah, yep. about half the distance of the bender. Yep. That's good. Nope, a little too much. Come on back. Yep. Or a foot and a half. Yep. There you go. Just try to keep it in the channel. Uh, this one is, I want a 79. 69 or 79? 79, yeah. I think. Yeah, because it has two pieces. The, the, uh, the smaller ones are 59. Yep, that looks good. There are several sizes. Yep, yep. This is a 14 foot wide. We have a 12 foot wide, and we're going to have a 24 right. foot wide also. <laughs> In the low tunnels, we have three, four, and six foot wide. Oh, you can go a little bit more. There you go. That's good. Oh, wait. And then you might need the lever bar. Yep. Yeah, you definitely want. There you go. So grab like two hands. One, one. Yeah, yep. Yep, nice job. Woo. And then you actually want to, sorry, you want to put it back in and just, you want to come all the way to, to the end. So, yep, so then do a couple, you can back up a little bit to do one more and then do a second one. Just because you want to bring it all the way to the end. And this is where it gets a little stiffer. Yep. There you go. You got and, it. And you can you do one it. more. Okay. <laughs> Just up there. There you go. <laughs> All right. There you go. You got it. <laughs> Yay! Nice. <laughs> so right. the, the other piece that comes in the kit is this peak connector. So he said 79 because you get both this and you get this. And this is what is bending the top portion that creates the gothic shape. Not bad. So we'll, we'll show... Um, 
you want to get this in and we'll show this bending part too. So this is pretty cool too because again the idea is how are you going to bend something you know to make that peak and this is a simple little jig that does it for you. And try to choose a, um, a new picnic table that's not rotting. We've, we've used a number of rotting picnic tables. And okay, so we have our, our five foot piece. And it has a pre-drilled hole on one side, right in the center, because this is where our um, bolts are going to come through the ridge pole. Are these come in tens when you cut down? Yep. 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 You cut the swage off it. Yep. The uh, we found we we only put a hole on one side for now because if you put had a hole on both sides, it would crack as it, as we bend it. So we do that, and then we we drill through afterwards. Yep. Okay. And that's also our point that we can set nicely right on this. Okay. And we each have our lever bar. And then the only tricky part here is going in unison. Yeah. So. And we're just going to bend down to this point. And we're, yep, we're just, as soon as our, this meets the edge here, that's where you stop. And once we get over there to assembly, this angle will actually get adjusted a little bit. And this, and that allows for inconsistencies in the, in the arc and things like that. Okay. Okay. One, two. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't like to come off, but. Okay. And there we go. Okay. And we have another one if someone wants to do that. And then on this, so you'll see there's a short end and a long end. Do you want to put the short end in so you have more leverage? Yep. And there you go. Of course, I want to plug Johnny's because they're a great company, but you could make some of this yourself, right? So yeah, this is 12 inches. If you, you know, you could make all of this yourself if with you some, wanted. With some serious trial and error on that. <laughs> but <laughs> you could. <laughs> okay. Yeah, any, speak from experience on that. <laughs> any other questions on the bending part before we... Did you make the pole that you're using with the tech screw in it? Uh, no, it comes with the kit. That comes with yep. the, comes with the kit. Yep. Kind of yep. And we, there's a great guy in Maine named Ike Hubbard who actually manufactures these. So he's, um, his background is in blueberry rakes. He makes these really wonderful blueberry rakes for all our blueberry harvesting. Um, yep. But this is what else he makes. There's a whole bunch of other benders here for making um, the low hoops. So these are just various forms for making what's back here all these different shapes as you can see and obviously they all could be serve different purposes um, this one they've been playing around with lately for just going over a three foot wide bed or that with tall flowers for instance tall crops you could just quickly cover them that one there in particular that he's holding in his left hand would be the tallest but your, your basic low tunnel shape should be the six foot diameter one that would go over the two 30 inch beds. But we'll also show more what that looks like inside. And hopefully you'll see some examples at uh, Gordon and Vera's farm too. Um, but anyway, all these forms would be able to bend these different shapes. Okay.